Welcome to this short video, which covers how to use the Shapiro Library subscription to the Mergent Online Database. You will learn how to find financial information on a single publicly traded company. Let's get started. Locate the Mergent Online Database on the Shapiro Library's A to Z database page, or access it through your course link if available. If you are not sure how to locate the A to Z database list, Review the video, Find Databases, which is linked in the description of this video. Mergent Online is a professional level research database that is used to find detailed business and financial information on public and private companies. Your access is provided through a library subscription, but you may also see Mergent Online subscriptions being used in businesses engaged in financial work. Mergent compiles company data, allows comparison of multiple companies, calculates ratios, and provides data from multiple years to view and manipulate as needed. Once you have located the Mergent Online Database and signed in with your SNHU email and password, you will land on the main Mergent Online page. Located in the center left of the page is the company search. Enter symbol or company name. Use the ticker symbol for the public company in the company search box. If you do not know the company's ticker or full name, enter the portion of the name that you know. I do know the ticker symbol for Ford is F, so I'll type F into the company search box and select F NYS Ford Motor Co. DE as it appears below the search box. At the top of this company profile page, Select the Company Financials tab, which is the fourth of 12 available tab sections. This selection will bring us into a data table of financial information, which is controlled and updated through drop-down menu options located at the middle of the page, indicated by the default options of Annuals, Balance Sheet, Five Years Quarters, Notice that the data table also defaults to the as reported financials, which are drawn directly from the company's Securities and Ex Exchange Commission disclosures. Let's use the drop down menu options to select the specific financial information that we need. As an example, perhaps I'm interested in updating the drop down options to quarterly data, all financial sections at once, and from the last three years quarters for Ford, so I can look at the most recent quarters information. Hit refresh to update the data table. Now we can view the data at our leisure and scroll through the information that is most useful. A quick tip is to use the control or open Apple button on your keyboard and type F to open the find tool and type in the data, the data name that you're looking for such as current assets. This may help you navigate around the data table. Just pay attention to the column you are viewing. Another option to view and then manipulate data is to download it as an Excel document, which we can see as an option at the top, middle, far right of the page with the download button an Excel icon. Important to note as you're using this report, review the column headers for information about how the data is being reported, such as the date and the scale. Finally, when looking at the data figures, positive numbers are as indicated. The negative numbers are shown in parentheses and the dashes indicate zeros or data that was not reported. We hope this short video has helped to introduce the Mergent Online Database and how to use it to locate a public company's financials. Should you have any follow-up questions, do not hesitate to reach out to your Shapiro librarians via 24-7 chat, by email, or by phone.